Welcome back fellow techies to our latest tutorial video. I am the Technician Project. Today's tutorial is going to show you how to combine all your acoustic mix together in Logic Pro X part 4 putting everything together. So where we left off from part 3 is we did our vocal mix and from our previous videos we've done our guitar mix and panned everything as well. So now we are ready to combine both the tracks together, so the guitars and the vocals, to make one big mix. So we're going to click unhide our mix and we're going to unhide all the tracks we want and unmute all the tracks we want. And this is the perfect time to load the mixer uh, and keep an eye on the master faders and the subgroups just to see what the outputs are going to be like. I'm just going to play the track all the way through. Now that was the first time we've listened to the mix all the way through with the vocals and the guitars. 
and I personally think it sounds okay at the moment. There's no major issues. I would potentially adjust the vocals throughout the piece uh, and maybe bring the guitar down slightly. So we're just going to do those little tweaks now um, and just have a little play with the system. So let's jump in from the beginning and we'll mix as we go along. During that little playback of the track there, all I'd done was adjust the vocal slightly. I brought in the second vo main vocal line, the main vocal effect, just to see what the difference would sound like with an extra vocal line. Uh, I, I moved all the effects over and copied them over and brought the level down and maybe done a bit of panning, but I wasn't too sure. It didn't really make too much of a difference. And I wanted the main vocals to come straight down the stereo field. So with all the other panning going on, it's nice to have something down the middle. Uh, I've turned up the stereo mix a little bit. Uh, and I adjusted the reverb on the guitar just to make it a bit more reverberant. Uh, it, it gave it a bit more color in the mix. Uh, and I also adjusted the, the reverb on the main vocal to turn it up a little bit. Uh, and the harmonies one, two, and three. Uh, sorry, two, three, and four, just to improve those harmonies coming in. And I think it sounds pretty good now. Uh, so I'm happy with the mix. What we did is we we did our mix in different sections as you saw in previous videos. So we did our guitar mix with the reverb and then we did our main vocal mix which is quite a lot of vocal tracks if you think about it but that's because it's quite a lot of harmonies involved and a lot of different effects. So because we did all that separately it's actually come together quite well and usually mixes don't happen like that. Um, Usually you mix certain bits and then you play it all back and something's slightly off. Uh, but in this mix, it seemed to work really well. Um, see our next video, it's ready to bounce out. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed it. And subscribe for more.
and also ding dong that notification bell to get further updates. Thanks again, goodbye.